Hey folks, this uh, is a short video for Cakewalk and some house cleaning, which uh, I'm not sure if it's really well known about this little, it's not really an issue, it's not an issue, it's uh, more, if you're aware of it, you can free up some space on your, on your computer each time you make a project. Now, all you have to do is open a project and you can do this every once in a while. <clears throat> I usually do it right at the end when I'm done my mixing. Um, and what happens is when you're creating tracks and you're uh, recording and you're doing things over and over again, trying to get the right sound. Um, many stem files, WAV files get created on the, on the drive. So uh, I generally will go into a, uh, a mix and you have to be in the mix because you want to lock all the files that you're currently using. And uh, this is about deleting. So you just have to make sure you're in the project that you want to do this to. And then what you do is you go over to your uh, Windows Explorer and uh, go to where you have that project on your C drive. Hopefully you have it on your C drive if you, if you have a good... Um, decent computer it's a ssd drive which is great and uh, some people put their stuff on a peripheral drive uh, it's how you want to set it up so it's not uh, not for this uh, video anyway so i'm going to go to that project and uh, this one i'm just remixing so i have uh, a mastering project and a the mastering I don't have to worry about because there's nothing in there if I go into mastering and go to audio the folder folder is empty it's just because I only have one track in there and it uh, it's a copy from the actual project so it doesn't gather any wave files in there don't ask me why it's just the way it is so I go into my project. Now this project is open in the background here, obviously. Make sure of that, because if you do this deletion process, you're, uh, you could delete your whole project. So disclaimer, there's the <laughs> disclaimer. So you go into your audio file, and you got a whole bunch of stems in here. You go Control A, highlight all of them, now you'll notice I've already done this in this uh, in this uh, uh, folder, so it's not much of a surprise. But if I go Control A and I hit Delete, Delete, yes. Now it's down to from 69 items. It's down to 60 items. Goddamn external drive, screw you. And uh, so. You're eliminating, sometimes I've had literally like 30, 40, 50 uh, wave files in here that are just useless. They're just taking up space. So it's good to do a bit of house cleaning every once in a while. When you finish a project, go in, open the project, go into the audio folder, highlight everything, go delete, and it'll remove anything that's no longer being used for that project. I have, that's the way I've always done it. Some people might not want to do that and chance anything, but uh, I've never had issues with it. So you might want to start off, start small and, uh, you know, it shouldn't delete anything that, um, it won't delete anything that's not locked by the project. So the project running in the background is locking what is your project and anything else that's not part of it anymore uh is deleted so 
Again, disclaimer, I'm just letting you know this. You can test it out um, and go from there. But I've, I've never had any issues with this. I uh, just, I think I read it somewhere or I noticed it a long while ago and I just kept doing that because it, uh, I noticed a lot of these WAV files accumulate and there's, uh, I've never seen anything in the documentation that just kind of says, hey, by the way, you might want to uh, do some house cleaning and do it this way. So I haven't seen anything on a, a cakewalk forum. Uh, maybe there's something in a forum, in the forum, but uh, I haven't seen anything. So I just leave it there. So when you do the delete, it's going to, of course, come up with this message saying some of them are locked. Uh, files are open in Cakewalk applications. So just click the do this for all current items and skip because it, it's trying to delete what's open in the background here. Any of those files. So there you go. I just removed. It doesn't seem like much, but I think when I first did this, I had about 120 uh, files and it brought it down to like 72. And I was like, oh, that's great. So it freed up, I don't know, 100 meg or something. Um, okay, so that's the video. Take it as you will, and we'll go from there. Cheers.